I'm Victor from Labradex, and I'm here to show you a sneak peek into Humans 101's Experiment Builder. Our goal with this is to empower gamers to create VR experiences and share them online for other VR community members. This will also give us a chance to collaborate with content creators to decide on what kind of tools to build next to facilitate their creations. For this video, I'll be covering how I was able to use the Experiment Builder to create the basketball game you saw earlier. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new experiment. In order to add a new object to the world, I'm going to select the Spawn Asset option. Here is a list of assets with their own unique set of functionalities. This list will continue to grow throughout Early Access, and we'll be on the Steam forums to hear what the community thinks for additional tool ideas. For the time being, we'll go with a basic object. You'll notice that a bowling pin shows up in the world. Using our VR controllers, we're able to move this around in different directions. We can move the object closer to us or further away. We can scale the object smaller or bigger, and rotate the object as we'd like. I'm going to leave this here. Back to our pad, we have a couple of different properties that we can edit to our liking, ranging from spawn timer, duration, movement, collision, and trigger effects. Let's change the mesh for right now. Here, we have our 3D model library, each with their own colliders built in. We'll continue to build more assets to expand player options, but for now, we'll go with the basketball hoop. You'll notice that our hoop is a little bit out of place, so let me take some time to correct this. Next, we need to be able to score some points when we land the shot. We can do this using the trigger option in the asset list. You'll notice the new transparent box. We're going to move this within our basketball net. With a little bit of scaling and movement, we can place our trigger snugly within the net. Next, we're going to head over to trigger effects and award ourselves 100 points if an object passes through this trigger. Our next step is to create the object we'll be throwing in the hoop. Another basic object should do the trick. This time, we're going to want to make sure that this object is within grabbing distance. Back at our pad, we'll change this to a basketball to remain in theme. Make the object grabbable, and then make sure we enable physics so gravity can make the ball fall after being thrown. All that's left is to edit the experiment settings. I'm going to fast forward as I decide on a suitable icon, name, author, and description. Settings are also the ability to modify the experiment timer, soundtrack, and rating system. I'm going to make it so it takes 300 points to earn a 2 tomato rating, and 800 points for a 3 tomato rating. We're finally ready to test our experiment. Here we have our gravity obeying basketball, and now we're ready to shoot some hoops. You'll notice a score pop up when landing a shot along with our current score and timer. You'll see that from our ratings earlier, my 300 point score earned a 2 tomato rating. If we exit our experiment, we'll see that it is safely saved within the experiment builder list with our populated information. Now, I'm going to make a quick change to our experiment, so bear with me on this fast forward.
you'll notice that I have replaced our basketball hoop with a donut. Let's observe what happens when we test this out. Forgive me, as I have less experience with shooting basketballs through a donut hole. And there you have it, a quick demonstration of our experiment builder. We're excited to see what kind of experiences players will bring to VR. Thank you for tuning in, and please leave a comment to let us know what you think. Until next time, 